What am I going to be playing once I finish Crisis Core? I need to think about that. What the hell? Kill Chaos. Kill Chaos? Bro. What the hell is going on in this place? Bro. Okay, this is real funny. Real funny. Let me get some goddamn coffee, Jesus Christ. Really? Really? I can't even get some goddamn coffee. Look up. Oh! You know, it's not a bad idea. Let's check it out. Stranger of Paradise Final Fantasy Origin. Now, this is a game that we are going to be playing. The very first episode is going to be like this. It's going to be an edited, like, more traditional episode because I kind of wanted to do a, you know, I wanted to do one of my skits and stuff and I wanted to have, like, an edited video as the first episode of this. But the following uh, videos on this are going to be live streams. There will be a playlist. I'm going to link the playlist in the description of this video. If I forget, hold me to it in the comment section because I read every single freaking comment that you guys put out. Uh, now, initially, I would just also like to point out, I never played the Final Fantasy 1, which I be, I don't know if this is like supposed to be a prequel to Final Fantasy 1 or like a reimagining of Final Fantasy 1. It's, it's kind of a weird thing, but I did play the demo of this game. You guys might remember at the time, I wasn't particularly impressed. I didn't really think that it was that great. But since then, I've heard some good things about it. I was advised by Fighting Cowboy to make it more of a live stream type of thing, which is why, like I said, we will be doing a live stream. I also did a couple of polls on the channel uh, to get you guys' opinion on traditional Let's Plays versus a bunch of stuff. And it's kind of murky waters. But at the end of the day, I hope that people understand that, um, you know, basically, I don't want to just do monster hunter and dark souls exclusively in this channel which is why i've been doing a lot of different things and i'm going to be doing a lot of different things and i understand it's not going to be everybody's speed but we are going to be doing stranger of paradise i don't want to like delay this any longer let's get started system settings one of the things that kind of i, I might have to uh play a little bit kind of like in the dark because i remember that this game is so incredibly dark that i can't have any light at all in the room just to be able to see things, which is kind of weird. So we're going to go with performance. Uh, I don't... I mean, I'm assuming that the tutorial is going to tell me the, the buttons that I need to press and whatnot, because I haven't played this game. And like I said, since the demo, this plays sound effects, subtitles. No, we don't need that. We have sound effects. Thank you very much. Um, what else do we have here? Let's play Destination. Ah, I'll figure some of this stuff out later. I just like going up cross saves. Oh, see, this is something that is really, really cool. Manage cross saves. And, and, and Although it's really, really cool. I kind of feel like this should be something that the PlayStation 5 just handles automatically. But anyways, um, let's get started here. Select the difficulty. Story. Let's get, you know, uh, story a mode for players that usually play action games, want to breeze through battles and are looking to enjoy the story. Enable casual mode for an even more relaxed gameplay experience. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
that moment when story difficulty isn't even enough. <laughs> it's just like, although I, I will say Cowboy has cautioned me that the difficulty in this game gets really friggin' wild. Uh, a mode for players who are familiar with action games and enjoy challenging battles. A mode for players who excel at action games and wish to engage in brutal battles. I'm about to do it again, aren't I? Th this, is a, this is a mistake. Okay. This is a mistake. I'm not committing to this. I just want to make that perfectly clear right from the get-go. I'm not committing to this. All right? But give it a shot. Man, even the pre-rendered cutscenes are incredibly dark. You can barely see what's going on, but... I've been playing a lot of 14 and it makes me question, Golbez, is that you? But my Final Fantasy lore is extremely limited. Ooh! Whoa! Whoa! Bro, this is too much violence at the start of a YouTube video. I'm not sure if the algorithm is going to allow it. A man is just like shredding everybody. Yeah, he's, he's, he's probably playing Dark Knight. Dark Knight players tend to be a little bit frustrated and edgy. That's why. Interesting that every time he kills somebody, stuff just crystallizes. There he is. They are frozen in fear. They don't even dare oppose them. And they all exploded. Boom. Hydra? Bring it! Volume's actually a little bit... Oh, wow, you can't pause. All right. Uh... Our one normal attack, our one guard, X evade. We have a beastly armor already. Oh, it's Tiamat. No. And I'm already dead. That was fast. Uh, is there a potion? Oh yeah, there is. Down D-pad. Okay. Cool beans. They really just throw you onto the deep end, huh? Okay, let's heal again. Macro burst. How do I... Can I run? Okay. I think that the circle is supposed to be some kind of like, um... If I remember correctly, circle was some kind of like parry system. Oof. Okay, so the yellow thing appears to be some kind of like a posture gauge. Oh, you can charge! Oh, it's greatsword time! Okay. Chop the tail. OK, 
Okay, now we're talking. We got this, fam. No problem. Boom! Okay, that thing regenerates so long as you're not pressing the offensive. Dude, can I not... Oh, Raging Slash? <laughs> what the hell? Easy. GG easy. Hey, what? Looks like it. The volume is a little bit low for some reason. It feel like it. I need to see if I can increase it in the game. Okay, these 30 FPS cutscenes, come on, dude. What is it what is it with Japan and 30 FPS cutscenes? I'll never understand, dude. You have a game that runs pretty good at 60 FPS, but then you do 30 FPS cutscenes? Come on, man. You're better than this, Japan. Look, the crystals can sense each other. You have one too, don't you? My mission is to kill chaos. That's all I know. Me too. Good. We're all in the same hunt. I'm Jack. Jed. Ash. Jack, Jed, and Ash appeal to the King of Cornelia for leave to hunt down chaos, but are refused. First Minister Lagone. Several weeks have passed since that day. Now our three heroes return in triumph. Their quest complete. So he killed chaos? This story's weird, dude. Hmm. What? Need something for that? Hmm. <laughs> it's just a scratch. Nothing a little spit can't heal. When are we gonna fight chaos? All this monster hunting is a pain in the ass. Hey! Seriously. Fingers crossed we're done. I like monster hunting. Time to pay the king a visit. And we don't leave without answers. Hmm. Hmm. The world lies shrouded in darkness. The winds die. The seas languish. The earth decays. But the people believe in a prophecy patiently awaiting its fulfillment when darkness veils the world four warriors of light shall come we are short one warrior of light there's only three of us fool's missive cornelia ah cornelia the joyous city with its proud alabaster castle though it lives in the shadow of chaos its noble people greet the dawn with heads held high the spirits of Cornelia's common folk are sustained by the royal family, particularly the beloved princesses. Princess Sarah is Cornelia's moon, her silvery smile, a balm that heals any troubled heart. Princess Mia is the sun, a source of comforting warmth to all. Yet it is a prophecy, too, that sustains the people's hopes, the wise words of Lucan foretelling warriors of light who will one day rise up and lead Cornelia to salvation. <laughs> you are skilled, to be sure. Few could have slain even one of those abominations, let alone three. 
There is still the matter of your number, however. When darkness veils the world, four warriors of light shall come. And your crystals trouble me. They do not shine the color they should. Can't argue with that. But you need warriors, Crystal right? racism. Look in front of you. Here we are, ready and willing to take chaos down for you. And with all due respect, isn't that what matters most? Perhaps. Yet a question still weighs on my mind, warriors of the Dark Crystals. Why court danger so eagerly? What could you possibly hope to gain? All I care about is seeing Chaos dead. If I need to. It's not a hope or a dream. It's like a hunger. A thirst. Hmm. Does that answer your question? Very well. Minister Lagholm, fetch the key to the shrine. My lord. Jack, Ash, Jed. I place the future of Cornelia in your hands. Does this mean we get unlimited resources because you are the king of Cornelia, therefore, you, you know, you can just give us everything that we could possibly ever want, like all of the weapons that we could possibly want, all of the money that we could possibly want, like, you know, you're placing the future of your nation on us. That, that, does that mean we get access to the nation's resources? No. Okay. Isn't that the same old, same old, right? Save the world! Like, can I, can I get some money for that? Uh, best I can do for you is 10 gil. Thanks. Do not fail us. <laughs> then he has the gall to say, do not fail us. Arrogant little prick. Dare you. Castle Cornelia. Hey, bro. I'll deliver the key to you in the morning. Make your preparations and wait for me at the city gates. Until then. Many warriors have come before us, but you are different somehow. I expect great deeds. I expect to get paid. Who's this? Cornelia is counting on you to save us from the darkness. I know you will. May the crystal's blessing be with you always. Eh? You look every bit the warrior. I can imagine it serves you well on the battlefield. Even so, I would kindly ask that you smile in front of my daughters. Jack can't physically smile. Like, you know how there's some animals that can't smile? This dude strikes me as the guy who simply cannot smile. It is physically impossible for him. Like, if he was to try, his mouth would just contort in all kinds of weird shapes, and he would not be able to do it. What's going on? Princess Sarah. The people love her. Not just the like people. A flower <clears throat> blooming in a dark wasteland. <sighs> Come on, Jack. Wouldn't kill you to smile for once. <sighs> And with a few more scars. Nah, it's nothing. Jack has the best medicine. Oh, that's so wonderful. In that case, it's not too much trouble. Would you be able to spare some for our soldiers in the castle? <laughs> <laughs> there. That's that's real funny, Jed. Good job. Good job, Jed. You know? <laughs> Imagine Jack just going like <laughs> Yeah, sure, I can spare some. Oh, no. I'm terrible. I'm sorry. Is there, is there something you want? There is. 
Dude, is is that is Jack just like the first iteration of Cloud? <laughs> I heard you were going to the shrine, so I thought this would be my only chance to ask. A favor? Two, actually. Of course. There was a knight by the name of Garland who set off to battle chaos as well, but he never returned. If you could, I would be grateful if you looked for him. Look, we don't have time for a rescue mission, princess. I understand. You don't need to go out of your way. Just keep an eye out for him. What does he look like? He always wore such splendid armor with a helmet that was terrifying to behold. He towered over the other knights. Even so, his voice was always warm. How long ago was this? Perhaps ten years ago. Although, it seems just like yesterday. No one believes me. Not the minister, not my father. They say a knight by the name of Garland never existed. As you wish. We'll see what we can do about your missing knight. <sighs> What's the second favor? Jack, wait. The other favor. There it is. Come back safe and soon. <clears throat> May the crystal's blessing be with you, always. Ah. Your crystal vibrating too? Yeah, weird. Forget it. We need to focus. Tomorrow's going to be a long day. Let's get some rest. Hey, Jack. Just the guy I wanted to see. I heard you're off to the shrine tomorrow. Why don't you spend the night here? Yeah. Great, come on in. The next morning. News of your departure will soon spread, and failure will leave a stain on the king's reputation. Bear this in mind. Travel northwest, and you will reach the Chaos Shrine. Go with the Crystal's blessing. Okay. A lot of Cornelia completed. Mage Mashers and Killer Knuckles. Okay. Main mission, Illusion at Journey's End. This mission is now available. The following side mission has been unlocked. Battle Simulator. The following side mission has been unlocked. Great swords, knuckles, daggers. You can talk to people all in the world. Press start to open the game menu. Select talk to initiate a conversation. These chats will give you glimpses into everyday lives of the people of this world. Uh, there's nothing here. I guess they mean while I'm walking through the world, maybe? Oh, they tell you what the rewards are. Main mission of Desperate Struggle completed. Why does it have... Oh, it doesn't have a location. Okay. Illusion at Journey's End. Mission level 5. Average equipment at level 1. Location Chaos Shrine. Enemy Shard. Great Sword. Strider Braze. Strider Gators. Main drops. There's all kinds of weapons in there. Alright. Let's begin. Each mission has a predetermined mission level. Make sure to compare this with your own average equipment level before attempting a mission. The lower your average equipment level is, compare the mission level, the more break damage you will receive, the less break damage you will deal. Okay. Jack and the others report to the King of Cornelia that they successfully defeated the famed monsters and demand permission to fight chaos next. The minister hesitates, realizing that things are not as the prophecy foretold, but the king, moved by the warrior's termination, promises to hand over the key. Next day, the minister passes the key to Jack and his allies, who then make for the Chaos Shrine on the other side of the plains. Okay. Fool's Missive. <clears throat> Chaos Shrine 2. I had never known a shrine to be here, not in all my past observations. It seems to have suddenly appeared. 
Yet no one has paid this phenomenon any mind. Something must have happened, but what could have triggered this to appear in the distant future in a place no one would interfere? In the future, you say. Looks like chaos has been waiting for us. You gonna make us go in there and find you? Guess we'll just show ourselves in. And so it begins. Our journey to kill chaos. <clears throat> Let's go. Let's dive right in then. Yes, let's... Assuming this is a checkpoint, right? Touch cubes are stored, HP, MP, fill potions, your max MP is lower, they will be restored initial value, doing soul revive any slain enemies, it's a bonfire. Gotcha. Wait, this is like the first level uh, of the demo. I keep pressing square. What the hell? Soul burst. There we go. Uh, looks like that might be an item. Can I break these? Yes. Do we get anything from them? Doesn't look like it. There's probably going to be some that have stuff in them and some that don't. And me being like OCD about these things is not going to be a good thing. It looks like they've improved on the darkness. I remember I barely being able to see a damn thing in this level. Then again, I've also increased the brightness slightly. Preparation. Ah, uh, press. Left to right to activate an ally's resonance state, during which they will use their abilities more aggressively. Okay. I like the fact that they're using dynamic music. Okay, so the spinning slash changes depending on when you press it. Also, you can charge this, I forget. Bonk. Okay. I haven't paid attention to see if this actually consumes a resource or something whenever I use um, the R2 ability. <clears throat> it probably does consume like that. Yep, the purple thing. Okay, gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, was there anything back here? We good. So we'll go up the stairs then. Ooh, chesty chest. Twilight tunic. Okay, so I'm supposed to equip this, I would imagine. Do I have to equip the other characters too? Change jobs and gear from the battle settings menu. Is all one R1. Okay, party members other than Jack are limited in the equipment they can use. Okay, so we do have to do it. So if I go here, can I change your weapon as well? Okay, looks like you can only use knuckles. And you can all use Mage Mashers. So what's the difference between these two? One says E, the other one says J, A. Seem to be about the same. Can't tell the difference. No. What do you mean? How does Jack have knives equipped? 
Anyway, I'm equipping this. Ah, we look much better now. Thank you. Very well. Let's get to it. Back. There's one down there. You can easily change from one battle set to another with triangle. Each set is its own break gauge. Switch carefully between time to give yourself an edge in battle. Oh. Change your battle sets by opening the battle settings menu and pressing triangle. Down. Aha. This is the one. Time for a change. All right. This is the one. I think I'll like the fists. In that case, can I swap my main weapon for fists? Battle's job grants affinity to both. The battle's job grants job affinity bonuses to both battle sets. Having affinity with a job will grant you some part of that job's powers in battle. I'll gain XP for it as well. All right, so here's what we're doing. I... Wait. I have to actually change my class then. Pugilist. Light and style. Master prowess. Deliver flurries of powerful close combat strikes. Hit with hand-to-hand -hand weapon stat to your prowess. Which directly increases your attack power. You can also hold R1 to unleash a powerful finishing blow. Explosive fists. Okay, because usually I'm not a big fan of just, like, big, huge swords. All right, it's not really my my vibe. So we'll go for this. I will use the sword as, like, a secondary one. Very well. Hey, Brosif. I remember this thing being way harder in the demo. Like, I'm talking literally night and day. I got in here, and that goblin that I was just fighting friggin' one-shotted me. Some enemies cannot be staggered by regular attacks, soul shield, and action abilities, however, will still stagger them. In addition, using will cause their allies... Okay, yeah, stagger enemies first, move in to deal the killing them. That is a useful tip, if I had paid attention to it. Okay, so there are things inside these. Very well. I take it we go this way now. L3 dash. Uh oh. This ladder needs to be dropped. Bro, you could you could jump that. Come on. I think we could Fine. Use that. Not forget where it is. Yeah, we'll use it. Don't you worry about it. Twilight Bracers. Naturally, I'm the most important uh, person, so I will take this loot. Let's go ahead. Boop. Upon leveling up, we'll be rewarded with job points. Job points can spend the job tree to unlock skills and abilities. You can access the tree from various locations, security cubes, and the world map. Swordsman! Pugilist. There we go. Explosive fist. So I'm assuming we already have this. Not enough job points. Okay. Uh, I guess that settles that. Oh wait. Can I put it into this? No, that wouldn't make sense. Little job points need... I have zero job points. But I have two job points as a swordsman. Okay. Increases damage taken... Uh, increases swordsman job affinity. Uh, I'll take the grease damage taken, whatever. Anyway, I don't want to mess around with that too much. I feel like that's not super important right now. Especially because I don't want to follow up on the swordsman's job. Guarding against magic damage. Magic attacks like fire will still deal some damage even if you guard. 
Continuous hits with certain attacks will inflict status ailments. Additionally, taking damage from the same element repeatedly make you vulnerable to that element, temporarily allowing subsequent attacks at the same time to deal even greater damage. Maximum damage. Jack will be broken when his gauge is depleted, causing him to be penetrable. This will also increase max MP and remove any buffs and instability effects. Okay, I have an idea. Can I just go back and... Can I do this while I'm in combat? Oh, nice. How very convenient. We can just reset real quick as I messed up. Alright. Got him. Oh. Okay, we'll take this, and we will, uh, we will chill. That's a good idea. Also, why did I... Oh, each of these is going to have its own... Oh, I need to sneeze. I'm so sorry. I'll hold it. Ah. <laughs> Allergies, man. Hate him. Uh, Twilight Tunic. Break damage dealt. Plus, okay, we'll want the pill protector for sure. Some single piece of equipment take multiple slots. Ah, the pill protector applies body and leg slots. Although you sacrifice the equipment slots, they make up for offering. Okay, that works. And we get to look badass. Does that mean that I can give the armor to one of the other boys? Uh, so like Ash over here, you could get the Twilight Tunic. Now, the thing is, once I swap... Yep, yep, okay, I see. I have to equip it on both. Uh, Pale Protector. There. Time for a change. Okay, so when we, you equip, you have to equip on both. Uh-oh, that's not good. Can I get another one? Getting desperate. Man, you guys suck. Get good. Get good, my dudes. I hope they know how to use the potions themselves. Hey, that's the way to do it. Doesn't look like we gain EXP from doing that, though. We can still gain... No, we're still getting XP. I just gotta level up. So you hit them three times, they blow up. That works for me. Killer Knuckles, Twilight, Tunic. Dude! We get so much loot. I can't, I'm not gonna be able to afford always being swapping around and whatnot. Uh, Twilight, Tunic, level four. Yeah, I, I remember how this is whenever it came to Neo. It was the same thing. You'd always be getting... We'd always be getting tons and tons of um, of gear, so maybe I'll just do the adjustments in between levels. Uh oh, this dude's gonna try to drop this stuff on us, isn't he? Of he is. Dude, I like the pugilist. It feels impactful. Pa pow! Ker pow! I'm friggin' Bruce Lee. Ooh, a bandana. I'll take that. Uh. That's the one thing, th one thing we don't have. Wait, was that a weapon? Noise! I thought this was actually gloves, not a weapon. Dude! I look badass, let's go. This feels way better than the demo. Let's go. Another one of those things? My guess. Ha pow Ker pow Come on! All right, all right, all right, all right. Now, if I remember, it's like, look, even though I'm playing this blind, I kind of remember a couple of things from the demo. Uh, and if I remember, we'll be able to go back from where we came and catch a couple of enemies from behind. 
Get him. I'm going to assume that we don't get to keep these two companions forever. Because if we do, it looks like the game feels kind of easy right now. Which I know I'm going to live to eat those words. I know it's... Or maybe I won't even live to eat those words. Come on, fire, fire. Give me fire. Oh, give me fuel, give me fire. Give me all the desire. Fuel? No? Okay. Pow! All oh, right, these guys explode and they mess everybody up around them. Okay, guys, you keep that dude off my back and I'll bust this thing wide open. Whoa, 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 whatever happened to keep him off my back? Boys, come on, I'm counting on you here. Let's go. I have no idea what I'm doing, but it's working. Pow! Yeah, it was. I know. It's me, man. What, what do you think this is? You think I'm joking around? Hey, yo, I ain't joking around. You take one false step, I'll bring you down. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I was able to go this way previously, I think. Maybe. Potentially. Well, in that case, I want to go back and I want to go through there and see what happens. Listen, this is one of the things about me that you guys need to know. This is the first time you're coming into content, contact with my content or whatever. Like, I am a fiend when it comes to exploration. Alright? An absolute fiend. I will... You know, I will go back multiple times. And I will still miss things. And people will still get upset at me for it. But I'll at least do my damnness to explore everything. Oh yeah, this is why you wouldn't want to come this way. Boom! Get out of here. Oh, yeah. One, two, three. That dude's gonna blow up. Next. Do it, do it, do it. Fire! Fire! Bye-bye. Thank you. I like this system. This is fun. All right, let me grab this. Bro, I already have snapback on my controller again, really. Dude, this generation's controllers are the most disappointing thing of my life. My life, you understand? So disappointing. Did we open this? Yes, we did. See? You when you kill these, you open that door. Might have been because of the self-destruct, maybe they burned the vines or something. Kind of feel like that would make sense. But let's I'll take the door. I will explore the stuff behind it. I see some cubes over there. Should okay, there's the breather. cubes. And this would be Ooh, a cactuar. Up ahead. This will be a breeze. Oh damn, he hurts. Okay. Get him! Get him, boys! No mercy! Punch that cactus! Got him! No escape. So, oh, cactuars are like loot goblins. Kind of felt like it was going to be that way, but I wasn't sure. Nice. Okay, that works. Let's go ahead and open this up. And then we'll save. I need to buy a new controller. Like, I'm so sad. Jesus. Okay, uh, battle setting, job trees. Oh, I probably got some for the pugilists. So what do we got here? Reese's pugilists, job affinity. Um, double uppercut, a series of uppercuts that deal striking damage and knocks enemies into the air. Nice. Breakage recovery. So these are passives. All right, I'm assuming I'll be able to use these on other classes. So you'll want to, like, unlock all of the passives. I kind of feel like that's going to be... Because this is not the class that I'm going to want to play, right? I'm going to want to play... I, I talked with Cowboy. I believe there's a Palvin equivalent. I'm going to want to play Palvin because he's going to have a shield and it's going to be badass. So, this is break gauge recovery speed. Sure. Oh, that also takes that. Okay. Uh, increases MP recovery from normal attacks. Uh, 
aerial hook. Leap into the air and leash two consecutive kicks. Is this going to be like some guile stuff? Because I'd love to see that. Equip acquired abilities from the battle settings menu. You can reach the menu person and select ability. Okay. So, abilities. Battle settings. Command abilities. Pugilist. No command abilities available. Combo abilities. Aha. Equip combo abilities from the start. Okay, so we have Sonic Punch. Sonic Punch, Sonic Punch. Which one was it? I unlocked something from Kicks. That ain't it. Was it this? Aha! Aerial hook. Oh! Everything set the Sonic Punch. Okay, where's Explosive Fist? I want Explosive Fist. Sonic Punch. What does this do? Deliver series striking blows. Cover a large distance. So yeah, that sounds good. R1, R1, R2. And then on the final one, we do Explosive Fist. So three R1s to one of these will be an Explosive Fist. Okay, well, I'm not going to mess with it too much more. I'll figure it out as we go. Uh, did we get a better weapon already? Jesus. Bro, so much gear. It's like Diablo. Pale Protector, level 5. Sure. Aha! Water ga. Now I can... Okay, right. and I can swap back and be a punchy boy again. Wait, what's this? Each attack has individual abilities. Physical attacks is slash, pierce, striking at a mutual. Magical attacks have fire other than the holy or dark attributes. Okay, 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 okay. So that means that these bad boys are probably going to be real weak to water. Ha! Got him. <laughs> and that's what you get. I like the soundtrack. It's pretty good. Caster shoes four. Uh, do I open these doors? No. These doors. Although I'm kind of curious as to... Wait, I already went outside. Outside was the Cactuar, so we're good. Let's open these bad boys. Look around. Nice room. With plenty of places to hide. Stay alert. Stay alert. If I remember, they were like in the ceiling. Again, yeah, I, I did this whole level. So I kind of... I'm kind of remembering what it was. Maybe break edges refill slowly, making soul burst a difficult proposition when there's a lot of foes about. Lowering a max an enemy's max break edge will prevent them from recovering as much gauge and facing foes use light bringer often to lower Okay. That's an AoE thing. You did. Oh, I gotta get rid of this. Okay, that gives us access to that chest. Uh, there's also this thing to climb up to as well. So we'll go this way. Seems like the pugilist class has some kind of like thing for Oh, did we kill a bunch of wolves down there? Nice! Wait, you can level up a secondary job by not even equipping it? Because we just leveled up as mage. That is very good. That was not... I'm pretty sure you couldn't do that in the demo. Or if you could, it was very, very slow. Because I remember having to use jobs that I didn't want it to. 
This is like, I, I should stop talking about them. It doesn't matter. This is the final game. Like, just, just stop. Rukan, you're obsessed. Okay, you got a problem. Actually, not even a problem. You have problems, plural. More issues than a goddamn magazine, my guy. Come on. Get it together! Okay, so through here, we come back here. No jump button, of course, which is why we can't just, like, jump or mantle over that. And then in here... Oh! Okay, this is not gonna work. I can't go this way. Can I drop here? Aha! And now we're locked in. So that works. Let's go. Let's knock him down. Knock him down. Got him. Got the alpha, boys. Don't even worry about it. We good. Ba-boom! Open wide. What do you mean, not your best moment? This was great, dude. We busted him up. Busted him up real good, and I don't even know what the hell I'm doing. It's great. We did fan friggin tastic. Okay, so this way we can go around. Gotcha. If I, just in case I need to go back up. Uh, but first, we'll see what's down here. So we can't go back up that way. Let's Ring level four. Inside. That I need. Okay, we got we to gotta, we gotta update the gear, team. Weapons and armor may have job affinities. One accessory can be equipped on each battle set. And found while playing on a hard, hard as a small chance of being imbued with powerful special ability chaos. The higher difficulty level, the greater chance to obtain chaos equipment. Okay, very well. Do we have better ones? These no. Pale bandana. We have caster mask. No, bro. Equipment level. Equipment level. Pale protector level six. Duelist affinity reach twenty percent effects acquired. Duelist wisdom one. I did what that does. I have to worry about it. Okay. Uh, we don't need trousers. We don't need pants, man. We don't need that. Pale Greaves. Yes. Duelist Wisdom 2. How oh, very nice. Windbreak damage taken minus 2. Magic damage dealt plus 09. Amulet break plus 11. I'll take this. Break plus 11. Um, if we swap and we actually cared about any of this, we could. We have a kite shield now. So wait, this class has a shield? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. So we'll take the caster coat, caster gloves, caster trousers, pale greaves level five, or twilight boots level five, magic damage dealt. I'll take these. Also, caster shoes, rare ones here. Um, eh, whatever. I'm not gonna bother too much with that. Bronze wind break damage taken, magic damage dealt plus so nine. All right, that works. We don't have new commands yet. Okay, this one blocks with a shield, and you can move. But I don't like the weapon, so no. I'm gonna keep with Punchy Boy. Punchy Boy works. Why did I hear, like... Oh, because something broke there. Okay. Uh, I take it we go back up this way, because there seems to be only one way to go back up. What do we got here? Any items down here? Oh, no, crap. We just fall and take a bunch you of damage. Okay on potions? No room for mistakes. Taru. Taru indeed. I don't suppose I can jump. 
Not that it matters, because there's nothing there, so whatever. We'll go this way. Pa pow! Pa pow! What's up? Pa pow pow! Should be a cube soon, I would imagine. Wait, we're back at where we came from? Nice. Interacting devices such as ladders. Yep, that's what I would expect. There's a ladder here. Now we've got an easy way back. Whew, just what we needed. Shortcut, one might say. What we got here. Halberd, level five. <gasps> Dragoon. And I like Dragoon. Ah, uh, you, you guys know if if you've seen me play fourteen, you know I also like Dragoon. I mean, my main's Paladin, of course, but. I like Dragoon. Dragoon's nice. Geef. Change jobs. Yes. Not Dragoon. I'm a Lancer. Sure. Fighting styles. Pierce. Strike. Slash. Uh, I'll, I'll try to figure it out. Um, we'll do this. But now for this... We will want Pale Bandana, not Cascode Pale Protector. Wait, this one's got like Duelist Affinity. It's whatever, doesn't matter. I just want the, the best stuff. That's what matters. Time for a change. Oh, this just tells you the exact same tip that I just saw. We got company. Time to go to work. <laughs> Save some of that for later. Hey, be safe, guys. Get the hell out of here, my guy. Get the hell out of here. Ba boom. That's how you get it done. Yep, two jobs leveled up. Oh no, wait, I think you have to use both jobs in the fight. That's how you level them both. That, whatever, I'm s still way too early in the game to be caring too deeply about that. Oh wow, they get messed up! Oh, this is not looking good. Oh, I can't eat my thing. I seem to remember bats were like mega annoying. That's all about it. If we can breathe, we can fight again. Yeah. The one thing we don't have is a whole lot of potions, my guy, so we gotta be careful about that. Shadow cloak. So obviously there's a path here. There's also something here. What's going on here? Uh, Chesty can't chest. Do this for much longer. What do you think we should do? I mean, we're probably gonna die because I have like two oceans. So that's whatever. That chaos saves the biggest tower for himself. Still got a ways to go. Yeah. We'll get him. Stay alert. Stay focused. Canceling actions. Instant abilities can be stolen from enemies activated to cancel an action mid-use. 
Okay. It's like some advanced tech. Oh, not bats! Anything but bats! Almost out of potions. Gotta stay sharp, guys. The hell out of here. We're gonna bait the bats, then we're gonna get them. Bruv. Right here. I am right here, my guy. Bro, I can blow up those bombs with fire. Actually. Come on, use fire on me, bomb. Do it. Do it. I dare you. I double dare you. Come on. Let's go. That's it. Crap, they blocked one. Another one down. Here comes the fire. Come on. Give me the fire. Damn it. Aim for me. Bro, I'm right here. Come on, do it. The worst part is that I was seeing that goblin coming, and I was like, I need to deal with that, but... Bro, these bats, I hate them so bad. The hell out of here. I could keep going. There's another bat there. there. That's it, that's it. You just you just use it. Got it. That's one down. Kerpow! Now if I could go ahead and do the same thing for that bomb. Yeah, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Gimme, 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 gimme. Got it. Now, one, two. That'll mess it up. That'll let me break this. Ba boom! Ba boom! Lovely. That's lovely. A win is a win. Finally a break. This will take us straight to the tower. Is there no cubes? I'd have expected cubes at some point here. Ah, there it is. Found a spot to rest. I'll check it out. Seeker of Power. Press triangle immediately after using an action ability to activate a chain cancel and switch. I wasn't able to do that earlier. Switch battle sets faster than usual. Use this to unleash a follow-up attack on the enemy move out of the range and more. I think I tried doing that earlier. Ha! Okay, that is good. Bro, this snapback is so bad. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm getting a new controller. That's it. That's it. But anyway, that is the first episode of our uh, Stranger of Paradise. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'll try to edit stuff in a way that it doesn't show too many tutorials or anything. But um, yeah, thank you all very much for hanging out with me. And if you enjoyed this, hit the like button. Do remember, the next couple of uh, episodes will be live streams. So... Uh, pay attention to that, and they will be added to the playlist, which will be at the description of this video. Thank you for watching. See you guys in the next one. Stay strong. Stay safe. Peace out.